Um, we got uh, some posters and a little bit of... Uh, my brain not working. Uh, <laughs> we got a poster <laughs> and a reveal of uh, the, the costume for Captain America in uh, Captain America Brave New World. And mm. it's not bad, but it's unfortunate. They they sucked all oh. the uniqueness out of his costume. Uh, I don't even know. Just look up like Captain America Brave New World costume, <laughs> and you'll see it. All right, let's see. And I'll send you the his costume from uh the first season, not the first season, but the end of a uh, Captain America, not Captain America. Uh, I don't Fal- like it. Falcon. And I immediately Winter Soldier. don't like it, especially in comparison. Looking at to his costume from Falcon and Winter Soldier, which is ripped straight out of the comic books. Um. I and it looks so good. The part of it for me is the glasses. I don't like them. They look stupid. They look, I don't know, just I'm not a fan at all. And here's the thing. They also are going to be giving him a helmet that looks bad. I've, I've seen the helmet. Yeah. So I really don't like the helmet. I did see a piece of artwork that made it look cool. But at the same time, it's the, the, it screams of racism. And a way to hide the yeah. black man's face and posters in certain regions of the world. Um, yeah. Which sucks. And it can look cool, but it's like, his 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 old costume was so good. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's ripped straight out of comics. So it looks good. so good. It did not need to change. And they're also doing this, obviously, to sell toys and stuff like that. And it's like, stop right, it. It's like, boo. Stop it. This movie already is like, who knows how it's going to go. One of the main um, characters is going to be an Israelite who in the comics is oh. a Zionist and eventually realizes Oof. that being a Zionist is bad but with Marvel's track record who know, they're, they're probably not going to be able to do that in a way that is good <laughs> Oof. but I mean in a perfect world potentially maybe they make like the greatest piece of like anti Israel material ever created yeah. Like the potential is crazy because that's what, despite the fact that, and you know, there's been a bit of a hubbub about Captain America being in a X Men ninety seven episode and him right. si- siding with the government because anytime anybody writes Captain America outside of a Captain America comic, they make him a government su- stooge because he's Captain America and he wears the American flag on his chest. So obviously, they just want right. to do that with this character. But whenever you read a Captain America comic. He is the complete opposite of that. This man is the most. Uh, he's just uh, what, what, what's, what's the term? Uh, Carl, what's his last name? Uh, Dang, Marx, I think. Ah, Karl Marx. Yes, yes, yes he's yes, yes. he's he is Karl Marx <laughs> through and through. This man does not mm-hmm. mess with any government anywhere he's going against the government constantly it's not that he represents what america is or was he's meant to represent what america can be but right. every time somebody writes captain america outside of that um a captain america um focused thing he's a government stooge and it never makes sense um and it, it creates this weird dichotomy with the character and a captain america right. movie where you have sam wilson's captain america you know a black captain america you could tell a really good story that's completely really against Israel and for Palestine, but we, you know, Disney is going to do that. <laughs> right, I was gonna say, it's Disney and it's Marvel. They're not. My hopes are very low. <laughs> like that, I would like it to be that, but it's not. We know it's not. <laughs> um, 